Hey, it's Matt at Epic Bicycle World, and I'm just here to review the new Bontrager Ballista Aero Road Helmet. I picked this helmet up a few months ago. I'd been looking for a new Aero Road Helmet, and I knew that Bontrager was getting ready to release uh, their version of the Aero Road Helmet, so I wanted to give it a try. Um, so I just wanted to give you a little feel for um, the helmet and uh, some of the features and my overall impressions. Um, helmet is uh you know pick the matte black it's got three large vents in front it's got a few um, aero vents up top and then uh, large vents on the rear so the idea is that um, air that the air comes in through the front and channels over the head and directly out the back uh, in a nice smooth uh, transition over the head and then doing so that that high volume coming through the helmet but then being transitioned back into the uh, slipstream behind the helmet um, helps to speed you up and reduce your aero drag. A um, couple of the things that I've noted with this helmet um, it has a real nice uh, retention system uh, it's quite adjustable it um, uses a, a dial type uh, tensioner on the back to adjust the diameter and it pulls against the front and these front pads um, do a nice job of um, holding the helmet firmly against your head um, without pushing the any any of the hard foam directly into your head causing a pressure point um, Straps are really nice and comfortable. They're easily adjustable. Um, inside the helmet here on the back, you can actually adjust the height of this retention system. Um, there's several, there are several, um, there are three settings here on the back. So depending on the size of your head and uh, where you like to feel um, this retention at on the back of your head, you can adjust this up or down. Um, go up or down. The helmet does fit a little bit lower on the sides um, near the ears and I'll show you here when I try it on in a minute. Um, what it does is it, it does help push some of the air around the side of your head and uh, around your shoulders but it um, depending on what kind of sunglasses you like to wear when you ride sometimes that can affect uh, the feel of the helmet. So helmet also comes with a spare set of pads and then um, a nice little helmet bag here to keep it uh, all nice and protected when you're not using it. The, uh, the one thing that I have found with this helmet in the matte black is that I, I have taken what I thought to be pretty good care of it, um, but I have put it in my race bag a couple times without the protective bag and just noticed a few little um, spots on the helmet where the uh, matte finish was um, chipping off just a little bit. Um, so if you're particular about how things look, uh, you may want to consider uh, that when looking at purchasing this helmet. Um, overall, I'll try it on here for you. So you can see inside the helmet there are these air channels, these deep air channels that take the air over your head. Um, so rather than there being numerous vents, there's three large vents. They suck the air in over your head, channel it right back out the helmet and and lay it out the back of the helmet in a nice smooth uh, shape. So go ahead and put this on for you. I chose a large size. I usually wear a medium, but the large seemed to fit pretty well. Uh, it might be just a tad big, um, but I'd rather be a little big, uh, especially with an aero helmet. It just um, it doesn't hurt too much. And in this case, it kind of pushes the air neatly around. So you just can uh, you know, snug up retention device here on the back. Um, it does fit kind of low on the brow in the front and then like I said uh, kind of low around the ears so you, you might want to try when you're trying the helmet on um, you might want to try it on with your sunglasses just to make sure that you fit. Um, one of the other things you want to think might want to think about with these aero helmets is that um, you don't have a place to put your glasses into the vents on the top but I have found that if you if you flip them and put them on backwards back here the uh, the nose piece will just sit nicely up here on the retention with the, with the ear pieces 
on the back of your ears and that's a good way to uh, securely hold your glasses if you don't want to wear them but you don't want to throw them in the jersey pocket or whatever while you ride so um, one of the things that I found that I was a little concerned about with this helmet was um, an any aero road helmet was that with the lack of vents that it would be hot in the heat what I have found is quite the opposite um, I've worn this helmet in uh, 90 plus degree high humidity days that we have here in July and August in uh, Pennsylvania South Central Pennsylvania and um, I would not hesitate to wear this helmet on a on a hot muggy day um, uh, I think it compares quite favorably with um, other uh, fully vented road helmets um, so I that was probably my biggest hesitation with getting a road helmet um, or a narrow road helmet and I have not found it to be a detractor from wearing this helmet at all the ventilation is excellent and um, you feel a nice nice amount of air moving through the helmet due to the large vents on the front the um, the one thing is note that's pretty noticeable uh, when you turn your head side to side while you're riding forward at a good speed 25 30 miles an hour um, you definitely do feel that on the with the side pressure of the helmet um, because it is a fairly large helmet so um, if you've worn that aero helmet for time traveling it's going to feel very similar to that in terms of the way that it feels on your head uh, if you turn your head while you're riding. Um, other than that I, I really like this helmet I'm, uh, I'm very pleased with it I think at a retail price of $175 or thereabouts um, it's a fairly good deal for helmets it's not extremely heavy uh, I think it's a pretty light helmet actually for the, uh, the size of it and the uh, um, the fact that there aren't a lot of vents so um, if you're looking for a good aero road helmet um, and you want to try out a great Bontrager product I think this Bontrager Belisa is a great way to go